and this is the Natural History Museum on Rue de Maria, Maria or something, I don't know. A bit of information about the building. Big Charles Darwin exhibit in the museum here. And this is the type of architecture. This uh, building was built in the 1700s, I think. All sorts of different sea fish. This is a some sort of big ray, I don't know. Various sharks. Yes. Around to that in a minute. And some of these creatures are your worst nightmares. The more the more they're all more globe fish. And we have seen something similar to this. It's a uh, a black scabbard fish. We saw it down in the fish market, or at least I think I saw it. Maybe it was maybe it was this one. So, oh no, that's a striped barracuda. My goodness, they're a bit of a vicious boy. Ah, oh, there's your sunfish there. Wow, look at the size of that. That's your, I think that's a sunfish. Ah, it is. And there's just all sorts in here. Scabbard fish again. And all sorts of uh, birds. There's the wee canaries that we were we were looking at. And here's the fire crest. And the blackbird, which is all over the place. And the, the grey midair and grey wagtail. And they have all these other birds, but they're just so hard to see. And they're quite scarce. Sparrowhawk, by the looks of it, it's a castle, so many castles here. Buzzards. Shearwaters. We have a golden oriole, but you, you just wouldn't see it. You're saying they have red wings. Uh, I'm rather surprised about that. This is a, a roller. It's a lovely looking bird. Kingfisher. There's the hoopy. Montague's higher. There's a beater. Various owls. Short eared. There's your peregrine. 
So, quite a variation of birds. They have a, they have a corn crake. Now, whether they have a, a corn crake breeding here is anyone's guess. And then, some more fish. It looks an interesting boy. That's a, a comb grouper. And then various uh, waders. So we've got the spoonbill and the night heron. And the egrets. And a purple heron. Doing white stork. And they're saying that they have hull finches and there's crossbills. And we saw a tuna like this, as big as this, in the um, in the market, fish market, as some says. Brilliant. This is a monk seal and this is a just a, it's a, it's a dolphin obviously. Not sure what these boys are. And this is a mountain goat. This is a, it's a goat from the Grand Desert. And this is another another dolphin, bottlenose dolphin, great size, and that looks like a wild cat. Hares and rabbits. And this is is a grey trigger fish. Oh, it looks really nice. Looks a bit like a sunfish. And there's a conger eel in here somewhere as well. And that's it looks as if it's its his tail. But look at your man. That's very cute. And there's another conger. We've seen a lot of these in the fish market. And there's one in here. And there's a whole selection which I'll not even attempt to, uh, to try and tell you what the names are of. is a dusky grouper. It's a ornate rasa. Yeah, but there's parrot fish. Is there a little one? Is there something? The parrot fish are different. Mm -hmm. well, that's a ras race. Ornate race. And they're it's only whenever you look really closely you see the colour on these boys, especially in round the face. There's the parrot. Oh, there's the parrot fish there. And all sorts of uh, little insects and not so little insects. And we saw a butterfly, or several butterflies like this flying about outside. Looked very similar to this boy here, but there's no name. There's a red, red admiral. 
and we find a dead moth that looked very like that there. And then there's all the flora and fauna. Ah, monarch butterfly. I should have known that. Stupid me. We're in the uh, final room that shows rocks and structure of the island geology. And here is a mock up, 3D mock up of the actual island. This is brilliant. And it marks the um, Nevadas. And there's the Gabo Zero, the um, highest uh, coastal cliff in the whole of uh, Europe, apparently. Uh, 580 metres tall. It makes our cliffs uh, look a wee bit small. And there's Dunchao. And there's Camera de Lobos where we were, around the village, and we walked back along that coastal path. And then we were up in the north here at Santana somewhere. It's quite San George. Oh, San George. George yeah. So we went up the Nevada over here. And this gives you such a good idea of the relief of the country. I did not realise that it was quite so uh, mountainous. And I'll say this again, I've said it before. If you come to Madeira, be prepared to be climbing steps quite a bit if you go for a walk. There are coastal walks, but be prepared. Porto Cruz. That's fabulous. There, Madeira.